Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be going over transparency and how to add an alpha layer to any texture you might want to be th see through. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to channels and we're going to add a new alpha channel to the layer. It's probably a little bit different in other programs, but I'm just going to show you guys how to do this in Photoshop. So yeah, um, if you want transparency, it the texture itself has to be white for the transparent parts. So we're just going to do something simple, just some filter render clouds, and we're going to adjust levels. So we're just going to adjust these real quick. So we have a random alpha channel right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and save as, and then um, go to our tutorial folder, and then we'll just save it here for now. Uh, alpha texture and we will save this as a targa 32-bit so it includes the alpha map and what you want to do is go and import that into your scene alright now that we have it in our scene we can go ahead and add an object. Either you can import your own 3D model or just do it this way. This is just for uh, tutorial purposes, so hopefully you guys will get the gist of it. We'll actually scale that up a little bit more. Okay. I also apologize for my voice. I'm coming down with the flu right now, so I'm ki I kind of been out of it the last couple days. Just to let you guys know. And, uh, okay. Now, once you have the actual texture onto your box, you want to go ahead and go to Transparent and Diffuse. And actually, I might have messed up what I said. The white is supposed to be the uh, the solid layer. Like I said, I'm kind of out of it right now. But yeah. And you can add different effects to this for the transparency. You can add bump diffuse, add a bump map, um, self-illuminate. Um, cut out diffuse, and you can actually adjust how much and then you can actually go ahead and change the color to whatever you want. We'll go take a look at it real quick. So yeah, so this could be used for any object that you want to be see-through. Also, if you adjust the texture to be in a gray area for the alpha map, it'll be a little more uh, see-through. So I could have, instead of making the skull part white, if I made it a little bit gray, um, it would be more see-through and transparent. So hopefully you guys make some cool stuff. Thanks for watching.